Hi, I'm Emma, this is the Av Sessions, and um, I'm here with Natty Shea. Hello. Hello. How's it going? It's all good, thanks. Good. We first saw you recently at the hospital club, and um, there was some piece of paper on the table, I was just saying, out to your man, you're outside, and um, we were writing notes to each other, and I just wrote in big capital letters, we have to get her down. And Alan was like, <laughs> okay, that's a thumbs up, by the way, I just realised we're on radio and no one can see that. Um, so how did the whole music thing start for you? Uh, well, um, okay, so I started playing classical guitar when I was about four or five. Okay. So that's when I started Hang music. Wait, four or five? Four or five. I, the, how? The first year I started school. Was it like a ukulele? No, it was a small like classical a proper, guitar. Proper one. Yeah, they're doing wow. four different sizes. Okay. Yeah, so I started then. Um, I started doing musical theatre around the same time. Okay. And then when I was like 11, I was really into Taylor Swift, so I decided to like combine the two and play chords and sing and write songs, so... Awesome. Yeah. So when you started getting into Taylor Swift, was this when she... Good kinda... Taylor Swift. Not like Taylor Swift now, like the good Taylor Swift. So like the country kind yeah, of Taylor yeah, yeah. Swift. Ah, okay. Awesome. And then I guess it just spiralled after that. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Um, you've got a collection of amazing awards and accolades. <gasps> Tons of them. Um, that date back to 2012, yes. if not earlier. I'm just trying to do the math without <laughs> sounding like really, really patronizing. Okay. <laughs> How old were you when you... Won your first award and got your first award. That's crazy. Yeah. So, are you 18 now? I'm 18 now, yeah. Okay, wow. So that was only five years ago. I can't imagine as a 13-year-old. In fact, I can't imagine now playing the guitar, let alone being a 13-year-old <laughs> playing the guitar. So, there you go. Um, when did you get to the point when you start to win loads of awards and accolades? Do you feel like, okay, I'm on to a winner here? Or do you feel like, wow, there's loads of pressure and it's piling up? Um, A bit of both, really, like... I needed that to sort of get started. Like yeah. no one was ever give me an award. I never thought I was any good. So the fact that I won things was like okay. So this is worth dedicating my time to. Okay. But at the same time, it was kind of like oh god, like I can't do another thing. I feel like if I lose, then everyone will be like oh why'd you lose? Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 a bit of both. It, it was a good thing, but it was good for the time. Like I wouldn't do that sort of thing now. Like, do you think it was that that sort of encouraged you to go on to Brit School and yeah, and definitely to like and... going to Brit School. I basically gave up like my education in a way. Like yeah. the GCSE part of it is not that strong, okay. so it was a big commitment to sort of say like, okay, so I'm going to do music. Yeah. Take it. So cool. big risk, but it was fun. So yeah. And what was it that kind of made you want to take that risk? Um, I suppose it's what I I want to do, and I thought, well, this is the best way that I'm going to do it. Like obviously, okay, you can do it without it. Yeah. But it's that training and that sort of experience that really shows you where you want to go so like but I'm at this age now you learn you learn a lot um so we did we did a lot of performance so obviously we did like the artist sort of side of it so we did a yeah. lot of performance and writing but then we also did a lot of like studying world music and like different genres like things I'd never have even thought of and we did cool. production and it's good to get an understanding of sort of everything okay so yeah it's good <laughs> A flame could save But ask me until the unpronounced you unproclaimed If I miss you, as I miss you As society's own name While it's broken, I'm hoping The facts will be sustained And I don't know how to tell you And I don't know what to say And I just smile looking at you doesn't hit me the same way It doesn't leave me feeling breathless It doesn't leave me wanting more It only shows me one direction In the direction of the door Don't bring me down, darling Don't leave me the smileless face Don't leave me down, both so slow I'm out of control cause I need my home damn space Don't bring me down, darling Besides me in play I'm not, not joking, still hoping My mind left the rearranger And I don't 
don't know if you see it I don't know if you feel the same Is it time for new beginnings? Has the time approached for change? Nah, nah, you don't leave me feeling breathless no, you don't leave me wanting more So I'll show you new direction In the direction of the door You know, don't break me down, darling Don't give me the smileless face Don't leave me down, both too slow I'm out of control, cause I need my own damn space Don't break me down, darling Don't keep me too long, yeah You give me your love, I know But I'm wanting to go, cause I love can be replaced Ooh, love can be replaced But then na 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 yeah Cause I need my own damn space Don't bring me down, darling Don't keep me too long, yeah You give me a mile, I know But I'm wanting to go Cause a love can be replaced Don't bring me down, darling Don't give me this smile and space I pretended I know I show the almighty glow But I need my own damn space Don't bring me down, bring me down It's been too long The Alpha Sessions. Let's fast forward to you now, as opposed to the past. Okay. Um, what are you up to at the moment? Um, well, I've finished school. I'm not going to university, so I'm doing music as... As a thing. As a thing. Okay. <laughs> so, where are you at? What's the plan? Um, I've got a single coming out, like, January. Awesome. Which I'm sort of working on as, like, the whole release and video sort of starting now. Um, yes. I'm just sort of playing a lot, working with a lot of different people do more like band shows so I can sort of figure out what I'm doing with that yeah. yeah it's just sort of a time to decide what I'm doing so it's good yeah cool now let's talk about the band um because when, when we saw you at the hospital club recently you were obviously with the band yes um how how does that curation process come together like are they mates of yours do you kind of put an ad out and go hey guys I want a band <laughs> like what's the process for that basically my drummer has been drumming for me since I was at my old school so back so he sort of started playing with me the year I joined Brit, but he's from my old school, so 2014-ish. Wow, so he's been okay. playing with me then. He normally plays Cajon okay. for me. So, And then when I decided to do the band thing, I was like, well, you're a drummer, so you can be my drummer. So when did you decide to do the band thing? Uh, two years ago, two and a half years okay. ago. And at what point is it like, oh, I want a fuller sound, or oh, I'm bored doing it on my own, or I want some more, company? What's um, well, obviously, if I was to record my songs, yeah. they'd be full band. Yeah. And it's sort of like, well, if I get the opportunity to play the songs as they're meant to sound, yeah. then I will. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, drama came from school. Um, yeah. Um, the guitarist is from Brit. Cool. And the bassist, it was filling in for my actual bassist. He's just gone to university in Leeds. Ah, uh, okay. So, he's also from school. <laughs> so, you guys seem to have, like, an awesome rapport on stage. Does that take a lot of practice? Uh, yeah, I suppose we've had we've had a lot of... We do obviously the ones from Brit. We play at Brit a lot, like yeah. live shows. So there's a lot from there. But me and my drummer have been playing together so long. Like he knows my songs as well as I do. So yeah, I cool. suppose it comes naturally. Mm-hmm. So apart from Taylor Swift, in terms of inspirations, who would you say has had an impact on your work? My initial inspirations were Taylor Swift and Kate Nash. Nice. Like the first Kate Nash album. Yeah. So that was the beginning. I suppose now it's not really that sort of music anymore. It's like indie rock bands but still but you kind of tailor it for your own direction yeah I, l- I listen to like the vaccines and stuff like that okay so, yeah. so we were looking through uh, Natalie's latest playlist what would we find on it um, the new Everything Everything album see um, little comments yeah two dollars in a okay pickle friends yeah. pickle friends good pickle friends. <laughs> you're friends you getting the thumbs up from the other side of the good, glass good good <laughs> <laughs> 
So do you think there's an element of the sort of stuff that you, you listen to on a daily basis that gets injected into your work almost? Yeah, it does. And also, like, I don't really listen to any girls. Oh, so right. it's sort of... That's interesting. My song is like a female take on what I listen to. Okay. Because obviously, like... Is that a conscious thing, do you, do you think, or um, does it just happen that way? Yeah, it's conscious, but sort of not. I like. I want to sort of find my own sort of sound. Mm. So I think I've sort of found my sound by playing what I like to listen to, but like a female version of it. Excuse me for my neutral sides. Need a time to to unwind and don't slash parliamentary cry. Face the blame for the temperature climb and breathe ever the lungs decline. Some power hidden in the bread and line and don't shun a part of your design. Just civilian, but the sun will shine. I am cold, but theoretically fine. I decline. We'll face humanity, but there's so much insanity encrypted in my mind. A guy covered in spies, a silhouette what the shed to redefine the kind lines of a long bloodline and focus planted in the radical signs to take me why am I inclined to listen if only I could resign and trapped in a demarcation line. I am civilian, but yet ha, Is anybody left to feel the sweat? We forget Who gave us everything so we Take sweet serenity in a cigarette At the end for me, you say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me. You say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me. You say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me. You say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me. You say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me. You say, Don't stop. How you talking to me? You say, You'll be waiting at the end for me, you say Don't stop, how you talking to me, you say The Alpha Sessions So you've been playing loads of live gigs at the moment Yes Um, Like everywhere, you were saying you've played the Bedford since you were 13 Which I don't know many <laughs> people that can say that, which is crazy Um, Do you have a favourite venue around London? Probably the Bedford <laughs> Yeah, definitely um, Why is that? Um, Well, I played there when I was 13, it was my first ever like proper gig Yeah um, then probably like six months after that, and then like three times within two months, yeah. like a few years ago. And then I was back again, not that like last month, full band. It was like my <laughs> headline show. And obviously it's closing down. So it was, what? yeah, it's closing down. I didn't down. know that. In like a year, I think. I don't know. But I kind of wanted to play the, the last time. So like that was my last my time. Dream by just yeah, that. sorry. But hey. <laughs> That's crazy. Sauce guys. <laughs> so um, having played since you were very young. Um, would you say that you still get nervous or is it um, just like standard now you just get get up on stage and roll with it it depends on the gig really like in general no I don't get nervous I get nervous if I'm not sure of what I'm doing like if I'm doing a new song okay. or it's like something we've never done with the band then I get stressed more than nervous <laughs> um, but if I if it's the songs I'm always playing I don't get nervous I get excited okay, but okay. if there's a lot of pressure on me then I do get a bit apprehensive but. and is there like a ritual that you have to do before a gig no not really no so there's no kind of weird I don't know um, type of food you have to eat or drink or warming up exercises. I normally have some milk before I go on at some point. Go. So yeah, there's always something. There is some milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's very random. So if, if you were, um, this is kind of a famous question that 
Alan was saying, oh, you haven't asked for a while, so I'm going to ask it this time, I guess. If you could play with anyone in any venue and have any rider you wanted, like, it doesn't matter how big the expense, who would it be with, where would it be, and what would you have? Who could I, if I could play with anyone? If you could play with anyone, it doesn't matter, they could be dead or alive, okay. in any venue in the world, and um, what would be on your rider? Uh, I'd play with Haim. Cool. And it would be... Uh, You're a big Haim fan then? Yeah, quite a big fan. Where would it be? Um, the Electric Ballroom. Nice, Camden. okay. I saw them there and it was amazing. I've always thought it's a great place. I go there for those propaganda nights. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely place. So probably there. Yeah, that's the answer to the question. And um, <laughs> if you could have anything at that gig, anything, it doesn't matter how, like, money's no object. Food, drink, whatever oh, the God. works. Go um, for it. I'd have a steak and um, <laughs> a nice wine. Nice. Yeah. Classy. <laughs> <laughs> Girl of a classy taste. Classy girl. Oh, nice. <laughs> and um, in terms of, pl- I guess, playing with a band or playing without a band, do you have a preference? Is there certain locations where you're like, right, I constantly need a band or I don't need a band or is it just whoever's available? How does that kind of thing work? Yeah, that's the thing that you touched on it there. It's sort of the location. It's not yeah. really my preference. Obviously, I love playing on my own. Yeah. But in some places it doesn't work. Like if I'm the only one playing on my own and everyone's a band, it's not good. So mm-hmm. you sort of just judge it. So say like I had a headline slot, I wouldn't yeah. do that solo if everyone was supporting was a band. So I yeah. do that full band. If it's like a festival, then try and do full band because it's outdoors and yeah. you need a bigger sound. Have you done a lot of festivals? Smaller ones, yeah. Mm-hmm. And sort of like weird outside things, pop up day festivals. So yeah, cool. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and um, so you, you said you've got an up and coming single or that gonna be released at the start of next year yes hopefully okay, cool. i haven't really decided because i haven't done the video yet but okay. it's like all set out to start so we'll listen out for that yes okay so that's what's next that's what is next that's what's next okay we'll definitely look <laughs> and listen out for that and if people want to find out more about you where can they go what can they do um facebook.com slash natalie shea music everything else is either natalie shea or natalie shea music except on twitter where it's at natalie shea underscore cool awesome thank you so much for coming in thanks And the first night was strange to me, but it was alright. No use denying we had the best time, and you're my type, so it's okay. And it feels right But my god, I've played these chords so many times A change of key in the same old simple rhymes There are no dice, so it's okay And I City life, which I like, so I'm okay. My heart 
And but for now You'll be you and I'll be me So look me in the eye I try to speak the words that are on my mind But chances are I won't pass the first line But that's alright Cause we're okay And I